You look very pale, huh? What's wrong with you? Mm, no fever. Must be up all night playing computer games. He's been doing a number of shifts at TCH. I've seen him studying once or twice. He can't be overworked, can he? I'll make you some herbal chicken soup. You have it tonight, yeah? That wasn't so nice for me. I can't take it. I'm going to school. Bye. Your oats. Mm. Oh, I don't want. I'm just feeling giddy. I don't know if it's just the morning sickness or me just being so worried about man. He still hasn't called me. He's working lah. He must be very busy. He will call you once he has time, okay? I just hope he's safe. That fire looked really scary on TV. They said there were casualties and one from the SCDF was injured. It cannot be man. If it was, they'd have contacted us by now. No news is a good news. Okay? Mm. Uh, sayang, you're back! I was so worried. Why didn't you call me? I'm okay, Sayang. I'm just really, really tired and now I just want to sleep. We'll talk later, okay? Sayang, I... Ma... Ma... Do you see that? I was so worried about him and he just walked away. Eh, he's tired. He's very tired. Come, you. Go and have your breakfast or you will be late for your shift. No. Come. Mm. So, if you owe Pierre this much and he charges you this much interest, then it'll take you this long to pay him back and you need to pay him this much in full. Die, 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 die. This is going to take me my whole lifetime to pay him back. Well, technically not your whole life. I mean, if you retire when you're 70, then it's uh, 30 years of your working life. If you get a good job. Mike, mm. let me money. Don't you think I would have helped you if I could? But you got money, what? In your bank? Yeah, but my parents have access to my account. I can't withdraw that much without them noticing, right? Hey, why don't you ask my dad? I'm sure he can help. Ask God. I'd rather be in debt to Pierre than ask him. It's not like he will help me. He hates me. But he doesn't hate you. I mean, it's, okay, it's better to be yelled at by my dad than to be beaten up by Pierre, right? I've got to go. Um, hi Felicia, is Shelly in today? No. Is it urgent? I need to speak to her and Wafit regarding Aaron Gallison because I got new information from his previous employment regarding his sexual harassment case. Actually, I don't think that'll be necessary. Assessment books. Here you go. My May said you've become very hardworking suddenly. So it's true. Hmm. Yeah. Go and buy some assessment books. Huh? So rare to see you so hardworking. So, reward you lah. Ah, uh, but God. Ah, yeah. You're my youngest grandson. No harm giving you money, right? You better work hard. Don't let us down. Hmm? Uh, I changed my mind. You all keep the money. What about your assessment books? Wow, I'll just borrow from Mike. Uh, thanks, Akong. Thanks, Kong. What's wrong with him? I think he's growing up. Aaron? You're leaving? Yeah, I attended. When? Just this morning. That's rather sudden. 
Hey, Aaron. Hold a best. Hey, babe. Aaron's gone. They're dropping the sexual harassment case. <laughs> Told you I'll settle it. Hey, Pierre! My uncle Pia, how are you doing? <laughs> same, same lah. Welcome back, Pierre. Hello, Mrs. Tong. I'm here for the great food and great service. You know Eddie here? He's such a good waiter. Huh? <laughs> Has he been taking good care of you? Oh, yes, yes. He's got such a bright future in the service industry. <coughs> <coughs> What's wrong with you? Nothing. I just joke. <coughs> hey, come sit down, sit down. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, don't sit. Uh, I mean, Pierre is a really busy guy. You came to Tapa, right? Come, I Tapa for you. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to eat here. I've got plenty of time. Yeah, good. So we can chit chat. Yeah, have a seat. Stay as long as you can, and I'll get you a drink. Um, coffee, right? Yes, thank you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have a weapon. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so much to catch up on. Mm. So much to tell you, Uncle Pia. Mm. How have you been? Okay. Mm. And you? Oh, it's been good. The weather's been terrible. Though. Got anything? Uh, you take a seat first, huh? Dr. Basker will be right with you. Thank you. Hey. Are you still waiting for a month's call? He has slept for so many hours already. What is he doing? Is he a bear? Is he hibernating? He hasn't called me yet. Your shave is almost over. Why don't you just go home and talk to him? You made me wait so long. If you call me now, I won't pick up. Hello? Ah! Tea? Okay, see you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Ma! <laughs> Here's your coffee. Mm, thank you. Mm. Hey, did you know the peer is in the social work business? Oh, really? <laughs> Actually, uh, do you know that Eddie oh, is... Ma, 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 uh, where is the herbal chicken soup you cook for me? Ah, in the kitchen upstairs. Where? I, I can't find it. Can you please go and warm it up for me? Okay, okay. Excuse me, please. Thanks, Ma. Aiyya! Uh, Akong, I just saw the summer auntie outside. Did you put enough parking coupons? Alamak! These people are tired of living. I'll see you later, Pia. Aiyya, yeah, Akong, yeah, hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, move. Come on, move now. <laughs> Nadia? Yeah? Where's Aaron? You mean you don't know? Know what? That he tendered his resignation. What? But we haven't even sorted out a sexual harassment case yet. Why would he resign? Exactly, but wait. If he didn't tender his resignation to you or me, that means he must have tendered to... Shailene. I already told you, Peer. I'm not distributing those flyers for you anymore, okay? Eddie, I don't want you to. Okay, good. Wait. I want you to be my runner. No, no, shut runner. Are you crazy? You want to get me into trouble, is it? That's illegal. You think you have a choice? Every day you owe me more and more money. Okay, okay, I distribute flyers. <laughs> Distributing flyers won't cut it anymore. <laughs> you better do as I say. I know where you live.
Hey, can we talk? It's about Aaron? Sure. I've been expecting you. I was so worried about you. I'm sorry I made you worry, sayang, but there's really nothing to worry about. A little something to reward you for your heroic deeds. What hero until the end? I was just doing my job. You are being modest. We heard on the news how dangerous it was, especially if the workers trapped in the warehouse. <laughs> That's what we're trained to do. It's not that dangerous. We heard a colleague of yours sustained some injuries. Oh yeah, how is he? Yeah, he's still in hospital. I don't know the full details yet. I'll be seeing him later. Please, go the ahead. The hero gets the cake. Lone shark runner? Hey, but it's illegal. I know. But if you don't do it, Pierre's not gonna let you off. Yeah, I know. So what are you gonna do? Ah, I don't know. Can you stop stating what I already know and be more helpful? Pierre? So now what are you gonna do? I guess I just have to do the right thing. Oh, can I just do the cowardly thing? You know, it's just gonna keep calling and calling. I'll just switch it off. You could. Or you could do the right thing. So, have you decided? Yes. And? And... And... I can't do it. I'm not gonna do it and I refuse to do it. You sure about that? Yes. 100% sure. Then be ready to face the consequences. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. Hey, your threats don't work on me anymore, okay? I know you're lying. If you do anything, I'll call the police. I already told you, I'll pay you back the money I owe you. One day. But I'm not paying any of that ridiculous interest. I won't let you bully me, okay? Wow. Brave, right? Yeah. Or, uh, very stupid. I hope for your sake that it worked. Agenda for the walkathon. Okay, thanks. Mm, why was Aaron asked to resign? You don't have to worry about it. Schwelling has settled it. The sexual harassment matter is closed. Suzanne will return to work tomorrow. Look, I have to admit that I'm not a big fan of Aaron's, but. There are so many issues that have not been settled yet. So? Suzanne accused Aaron of sexual harassment. He accused her of lying. These are serious accusations. Surely there needs to be due process, proper procedures, investigation at least. Nadia, many things around here don't necessarily follow proper procedures. But... Welcome there's... to not being family in the family business. That's how things are here. You want a career here? Better get used to it. Hey, what's wrong with you? Um, nothing. Have you been drinking? No. Smoking? No. Taking drugs? Of course not. Good, because all those things are bad for you and can kill you. Yeah, I know. But that won't happen because I will kill you first. Can you stop terrorizing Eddie and come and help? For what? We got you. Hey girl, 
He's a guest. Jay's family. Yeah, and family must work. Eddie, are you feeling better? Uh, yes. The herbal soup helps. Are you worried about your A-levels? I'm sure you'll be fine. Don't worry. Our expectations of you are very low. Mm. Very, very low. It is so low that there's no way you can disappoint us. Thanks, Ah. Stop making fun of your brother. Eddie, eat more. Go to bed early. You need the rest, yeah? Mm. Mm. Hey, Sam. Hey, how's your colleague doing? Ishan. Mm. He's gonna be fine. Uh, he was hit by a falling wooden beam. Uh, got a broken rib and suffered some minor burns. Wow, broke a rib and burns. That sounds so serious. For a regular guy, it is. But this is Ishan. He's the fittest one among us. You know his nickname? Superman. This is nothing for him. Who's that? Just answer. Hello? Yep. Sulaiman speaking. What? You want to interview me? It's there. Where do you go? Went to put some equipment in my van. Do I know what's wrong? I saw a few guys hanging around outside the coffee house. What were they doing? They were just standing there. Looked like they were waiting for someone. Kind of suspicious, actually. Should we call the police? Uh, police? No need. I think, like what Jess said, they're just waiting for someone. Yeah, it's probably nothing. Uh, Ma, where are you going? She's holding a rubbish bag, boy. Where do you think she's going? Oh, I'll help you. You go rest. Ma? Do you think something's up with Eddie? I hope not. Sam, so, yeah, I'm home. The interview sure took a long time, huh? Yeah. The reporter asked so many questions. Good thing I was prepared. Good. Hey, you know what? For some reason, I don't know why, the reporter said I was very photogenic. Photogenic? Yeah. And for some reason, I don't know why, they're calling me the Heartland Hero. Heartland Hero? I also don't know why. Because as you said, you're just doing your job. Hey, my job's not that easy, you know. I know. It's very dangerous. No, 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 no. no. It's not that dangerous. Uh, eh, sayang, you said you wanted to talk, right? We talk now? I'm very tired. I want to sleep. Ah, uh, sad. Sayang. You think you hang up on me, I will quietly go away. Okay, you got me. You want to beat me up? Just go ahead and do it. I'm not scared of you. Three against one. You're not ashamed, is it? Ah, ah, ah. I don't want to hurt you. Really? Then let me go. But I will hurt your family and your loved ones. Hey, Pia. Pia, please, please, please. Don't hurt my family. They are innocent. Nothing bad will happen to them if you do as I say. Right now, you have two options. Number one, you pay me back in full, with interest, and I will be out of your life. Number two, work for me. The choice is yours. Don't do anything funny. 
you know who's going to suffer. Hey, are you okay? I'm okay. We have the doctor's appointment at 2pm, right? Why don't we go to your favourite nasi padang place for lunch before going? No need, I can go myself. But I'm off today, I can take you. Man. Must be the hormones. I read somewhere that pregnant women are more prone to mood swings.